Hey guys, this is Kevin, and for today's Expat Philippines video, I'm going to be talking about uh, accessing your cash in the Philippines. Sending or receiving money in the Philippines, how do you go about doing that? And before I go any further, let me just quickly give you this warning. If you're chatting with someone online but you have not met her in person, do not send money to someone that you have not met in person, ever. Okay, that's just a warning I'm going to get out of the way uh, really quickly. Uh, but let's talk about uh, what I'm going to do, I think, is go from kind of short-term to more long-term options uh, once you're in the Philippines. Now, let's say that you are just... Uh, you're just visiting the Philippines for the first time, or let's say that you, uh, you're you moving there, but you kind of need to get started. What I would advise you to do just to get started is to bring a few hundred dollars with you. Just bring some cash with you. And what you can do is once you get to the Philippines, you can go to a mall or a shopping center and find a money exchange place. You will need to bring the cash and uh, some type of uh, ID, like your probably your passport is your best option, and you can just uh, exchange the money. You there are not any extra fees associated with that. You just uh, basically turn your money from one form of cash into the other currency. So that's very simple, very straightforward, and that's going to be your best option just to get started. Uh, in terms of options that are a little bit longer term, uh, let me put it this way. There are more, there's more than one way to quickly transfer money from the U.S. to the Philippines. But all of the quick ways, all, anything that takes uh, under 24 hours is going to have some type of fee associated with it. And that's, that's just the bottom line. There's not a way that I'm aware of that you can send money from America to the Philippines quickly it's uh, free of any type of fee or anything. Okay, so uh, I mentioned the cash, but let's say that you're visiting the Philippines for a week or two and your cash is getting low. There are some different things you can do. Now, uh, one thing in many cases, especially if you're banking with one of the major banks in the U.S., uh, you can take your ATM card and just pull cash straight out of a ATM in the Philippines. Many of them will work that way. The problem with that is you get hit by a fee from the Philippine bank. You're going to get hit by a fee from the American bank. And, uh, you know, the exchange rate may, may or may not be that bad, but the fees are going to eat you up. But again, if you're just talking about short term, you know, you're just going to visit for a week or two, then that may not be such a big deal. Uh, another disadvantage in addition to the fees is what I have found is sometimes ATM machines in the Philippines they just go on go offline or they stop communicating with international banks so you may find that your uh, your ATM card you know it worked one week and then the next week you go to the same ATM machine and it's down for 24 hours or it just won't work for a while so you don't want to be Put in an emergency situation and have to access your money that way, but uh, it's just something to keep in mind. Uh, another thing I'll add here is if you have like a Visa check card or just a, a Visa or American Express, in some cases you can make purchases with those in major malls and, and that kind of thing. Uh, the Philippines is a very cash-based society, so don't think that you can use your Visa everywhere but you can use it in many cases like at SM Mall and the major, uh, the major retail outlets. The problem with that with using your visa is again there may be some fees and things like that associated with that. So anyway, uh, to summarize, for the really short term bring some cash with you and then if you need to you can use your ATM machine just for a few times just to pull out cash. Uh, the advantage of this what I'm talking about here is you know these are all things you can do without establishing really any type of account in the Philippines now let's talk a little bit more long term now uh, let's say that you want to send money from an American account to an account in the Philippines let's say you have open an account in the Philippines or let's say that you want to send money to your fiance or something like that uh, there's one thing you can do. Uh, Wells Fargo, if you open an account with them, I think they have a way to send money to the Philippines. There are transfer fees associated with it, but 
that is one way to do it. I have a friend here in the U.S. that's done it. Uh, I normally use, even now, when, uh, let's say, you know, Christmas is just is just uh, finished and we send a little money to her family for a Christmas present, I usually use Zoom.com. And I'll put a link below to uh, Zoom.com. It is an affiliate link. You know, you'll put a few uh, dollars in my pocket maybe if you open an account with them. But uh, I normally use Zoom.com just for sending money from the U.S. to the Philippines. There is a fee of about five dollars, and uh, the exchange rate. They also make a little money off of the exchange rate. But again, just for an occasional, you know, sending money to the Philippines, I have found that Zoom.com works really well. You can send money to a bank account in the Philippines, or you can just do cash pickup. And uh, the way it works for uh, cash pickup is Zoom will send you like a uh, some type of number, like a confirmation number, and whoever you're sending the money to, they will need that confirmation number and then a valid ID, and then they can go to many different places in the Philippines to pick up the cash. So uh, Zoom.com is a pretty good option for occasional transfers of money to the Philippines. Okay. Now let's talk a little bit more long term. Let's say you are uh, you're the one who's going to move to the Philippines. You're living there. Uh, there are a couple of things that you may want to consider. Uh, one, there's a, if you go to Union Bank of the Philippines, that's Union Bank, and you open a EON account. That's an EON account. That account will allow you to uh, connect that that bank account to your PayPal to a PayPal account and I won't get into all of the details on how to do that but basically what you can do is you can send money via PayPal from your American bank account to this Philippines account and again the the downside to that is there are going to be some fees involved with that it's whatever fee that PayPal charges but uh, I know of one or two people that use that method and it works pretty well for them. They can get their money from an American account to their Philippines account very quickly. Uh, the You get a fee with that. I don't think you have any, uh, I don't think PayPal tries to make money off the exchange rate. So you get a good exchange rate, I think, but then you still have that fee there. Uh, now, another thing, and this is the final thing I'll mention is what you can do is you can once you move to the Philippines you can open up a US dollar account okay you open up a US dollar account and then bring checks with you and you write yourself a check so uh, I think you see what I'm saying here you go to a bank and you tell them you want to open a US dollar account and when you need money you write yourself a check now the advantage of that is the you get a straight exchange or you you're it's because it's in dollars there's no exchange rate you don't have to worry about gaining or losing on the exchange rate it's just sitting there in dollars and there are no fees associated with you know uh, making that check deposit the disadvantage of this method is that when you write a check to yourself okay let's say you write a check a check for your from your American account to deposit in that Philip, uh, U.S. dollar account in the Philippines, uh, there's going to be some delays in that. From what I hear from the other guys that uh, have talked about this, you're talking a six-week delay, something like that. So it's not fast, but if you could kind of plan your deposits ahead and not get in an emergency, that would be a really good way to do it for the long term. In fact, if I had my life in the Philippines to live over, that's probably how I would have handled uh, my money is just opening a US dollar account. Now, once you have the money in the US dollar account, you can just take an ATM card and you can pull it out in pesos. So uh, that's, that's one way to do that. So uh, anyway, to summarize again, if you need to do something quickly, if you need to transfer money quickly, there's always going to be some type of fee involved. It's just a matter of trying to get the uh, least expensive fee. The long-term thing, the opening a U.S. dollar account in a, in a Philippine bank, that's a good way to handle things long-term and avoid all fees. 
Again, the problem with that is getting that check to actually clear is going to take quite a few weeks before you can access your money. So um, those are a few ideas on accessing your money in the Philippines. If any of the other expats out there want to uh, make a comment on anything that I've said today, uh, you're welcome to do so. So anyway, uh, I hope you have a great day, and I will uh, try to make another video soon.